71% of the Earth is covered with water. It is comprised of the oceans, lakes, rivers, marshes, groundwater, rain, and even water droplets from clouds. The hydrosphere is one of the very few essentials of the planet that constantly move into and out of living things. It greatly affects both biological and non-biological factors that affect the stability and sustenance of life on Earth. However, since the beginning of history, water pollution has been a significant problem that greatly concerns the society and the future generations. From the Industrial Revolution in the late 1800s, manufacturing and mining processes have dumped toxic waste into the waters. Small and simple acts such as this cause this paramount issue to increase exponentially and mark its existence as a critical problem on Earth. With this, it is believed that small steps can help improve and contribute to the betterment of the world's waters. Solutions of natural and of low cost are around us, and it is a great effort that we can achieve this. Technology has evolved since the Industrial Revolution, and it is through technology that we shall bring back and restore the natural and pure state of our waters. This is the Pokashi Ball Technology. The Pokashi Ball Technology has numerous benefits to impaired bodies of water, especially those that have undergone the process of eutrophication. Eutrophication is the decrease of oxygen content of water due to the various chemicals that was poured into the water. Such chemicals are industrial wastes and household detergents. These chemicals result to algal bloom, which releases unpleasant taste and odor in the water. The Bakashi ball consists of multiple microorganisms that work together in order to regain the oxygen content of dead waters. This technology diminishes harmful toxins and bacteria existing in damaged waters. It brings back the clean and vigorous state of waters as they once were. The Pokashi Bomb makes us one step closer in reviving the biological life and processes existing in their waters. The Pokashi Ball technology is compromised of various elements that when placed together, creates an agent to combat this flourishing problem. One of those is the fermented Pokashi that undergoes an anaerobic fermentation process. As a result, it creates a less foul odor and can be easily produced in households or in small scale. The fermented Pokashi is used to produce planktons, which should be released once the Pokashi ball is underwater. Other components of the Pokashi ball are the red sugar and fish powder that serve as food for the fermented Pokashi, which will later on turn into planktons. Calcium mine or ceramic powder is another component of the technology to maintain its states, which is solid. This prevents the ball from easily dissolving after it has been thrown in the water. Another element used is a salt. To balance the pH level of the ball and the microorganisms that compromise it. A fist-sized Bokashi ball can treat 1 cubic meter of water. The area in which the treatment of the ball can reach depends on its size and amount of microorganisms in the ball. Once the Bokashi ball has been thrown in the water, planktons will be released as a product of the fermented Bokashi feeding on the red sugar and fish powder. These planktons will then feed on the bacteria that cause eutrophication. The planktons may serve as food for small marine organisms such as small fishes, which can then serve as food for big fishes. Since bacteria have been eaten by the planktons, this decreases the turbidity of the water which may return from its natural state. Its natural state can gradually bring back the intended purpose of water, which is to sustain life. The decrease of these bacteria removes the bad odor of water that attracts mosquitoes, which can cause dengue in society. The answer to the most abrupt and critical problem on Earth is within our reach. It is time to take part and start acting upon the needs of our home. 
let us move one step closer to safeguard our world. This is the effect of the Bakashi ball technology.